This video will explain how you can use Unite AR to create augmented reality experiences and deliver it through a custom-made app built at zero code. First up, I'm going to sign up. I'm going to type in a name, Jose Joseph, and an email ID, jose at mail.com, and also a password. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on the I'm not a robot checkbox and answer the captcha question. And I'm going to select the images with cars. And when I'm done, I'm going to click on verify. Click on the sign up button. It will send an email, a verification email to my email ID. And I'm going to click on confirm email button. And it will send me a message that I've been verified. And when I hit let's start, it's going to ask me to set up a dashboard. It's like the purpose, category, and also a product in this case, yes. And now I'm going to select image-based AR. And here I'll be asked to upload a target image. I have a poster that's been pre-made. And I'm going to click on the poster. And it should be in JPEG or PNG format. Once it's done uploading, I'm going to click on the next button that I just highlighted up. And now this is the dashboard where I can upload the content. If I use the slider, I can zoom in and I'm going to upload a 3D model of a car in GLB format. You can also use FBX or OBJ format as well, or even in a zip format. Once it's done uploading, it's going to show me a preview. And if I kind of select it and click on this button, it's going to change the orientation. I'm going to rotate it so that it will be at an angle for the viewer. And use the slider to change its scale so that it will fit the poster. And all right, it looks fine. Now I'm going to click on Save and Publish. And at the bottom, you can see it's been saved successfully. I'm going to click on See the Preview. Here it's just going to show me an enlarged version of the poster so that I can scan using my phone application. I'm going to open up Unite AR and scan the poster, which I just printed out. And once it's 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 the it's loading in AR space and I can see the you can see the model here. It's exactly like what was being uploaded. I can rotate it, I can scale it and also switch to ground plane if I want or take a picture or video with it. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and view in web. I'm going to select that and if I click on copy a link, I can paste it in the browser or I can open up my mobile phone and scan that QR code, which I'm doing right now. And it'll ask me to open up the browser. I'm going to say yes and it'll open up the camera. I'm just scanning the poster now and the same thing will happen. You can see the model in your web browser. You can rotate it, you can scale it, or you can switch to ground plane or even take a photo with it. And all these are just what you do without any code. Alright, so now I'm going to head back again and click on the back button here. And here in the projects page, I'm going to add a new project, and this time I'm going to select Web AR. And this is exclusively for the web browser, and you can upload a 3D model, video, or a button. I'm going to select 3D and upload the previous car model. Again, this one also supports FBX and uh, OBJ, also in zip format. And here you can see that it's on the right side as opposed to the center on a model last time. Now you can see the preview here. All these pop-up pages, they just come on the first time of loading. And you can just, you can see a preview here. You can rotate it. And also you can scale it if you want. You can use the slider here so it's uniformly scaled. And I can change the brightness as well. See, it looks much wider now. Alright, so once I'm happy with the way the car looks, I'm going to click on Save and Experience. And here also I have a View and App option, but I'm going to click on View and Web. 
you can copy the link and paste it in a browser or like you, you can use the QR code as well. But here I'm just going to copy paste. It'll open up the United Air camera and ask me to have the place. It'll detect a ground plane and you can interact with the model like you did in the application or in the other web browser in the image based one. But except that it's this one, it's ground based. Now I'm going to head back and exit from the studio and create my own application so that I can deliver all this. And I'm going to click on, I'm here, once I'm here, I'm going to click on Air App Creator. It will ask me to enter the add details. I'm going to add in an application name, car, and also select the font type. I'm just going to maybe lay it in open sans. And also upload an icon. It should be in PNG or JPEG format. I have a logo here. I'm going to click on open. I can crop it if I want, but just going to leave it at that. And over here, I can um, create my app loading page. I have a, I'm going to upload the logo again. It's the, it's the page that shows up when the, when you tap and open up the application. Hit crop. And I have a plethora of options to control a lot of aspects. And also, I'm just going to upload a background image with it for now. Hit open. Okay, now I'm going to select Kirby. That looks better. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay. And I'm going to hit next. And it, I'm going to select, select my image scanning page. Looks like this one and hit next. And over here, I can enable the burger icon on the left side. I'm just going to leave it off for now and select the content appearance page. All right, and finish, finish the steps. And now it's going to ask me to create for Android or iOS. So I'm just going to select Android and hit generate now. It's going to take some time, but it, once it's done, you can see two options here. You can either download it by scanning the QR code or download it by clicking on the button over here. I'm going to go head back over to the, the again, the menu button, menu page, and here I can select my project and also the app creator. If I, if I get over here, I can, I can get, again, select image based AR and web AR. And also I can upgrade and I have other options like upgrade plan and also customize my account. Let's select my account and it has all these options. I have the package view limit and the storage usage and total image target. And I can also upgrade here from here as well. Here's my profile page. I can change the password if I want to. Settings, I can adjust the settings. And also the bills if I'm a paid customer. And I'm gonna head back to my projects again and head over to my icon and log out. That's about it. And for it's it's for various industries as well. It is for marketing, art and entertainment, education, retail and e-commerce, and manufacturing. Alright, that's about it. Thank you for watching.